All right, let's talk blog posts. With this particular layout, this theme, we can do a lot of different things with the blog. Um, and just a quick note and a quick mention, this banner right here, this gallery, I am not covering that in this video. I've covered that in a separate video. So if you're looking for me to go over this part, um, you're going to have to watch the other video that's on the blog, uh, on the blog, on the blog banner, excuse me. So that said, um, let's go over this real quick. With, with this particular theme, we have a few different ways of, of setting up a blog post. We have the collage or the mosaic that we can set up as a featured image. Um, we have the standard featured image with this little hover over. And as well, we have uh, the video. Let me see if I can find a video in here somewhere. I know we got one. Let's see if I can find this. Where are you? I know there. We can do a video, and we can actually bypass doing all three of those options and just putting in uh, images like you see commonly on a lot of blogs where it's just cascading images all the way down. We can do that as well. So this video is going to cover a lot. So make sure you've used the bathroom, you've got your popcorn in hand, your Sprite, your gin and tonic, whatever it is that you need to be comfortable because i got to go over a few different things here. So let's go ahead and come to the back end and let's go to the post section and let's go ahead and just start from from new I guess. I'm going to create a new post. Let me give this a, a nice wedding -y sounding name. Beautiful weddings of 2011. Whatever. I know it's 2012 but I'm just doing 2011. So let's go ahead and drop in some text. Maybe a little bit more. Um, now I'm going to kind of bounce around a little bit. I don't know how familiar you are with with WordPress or, or posting blogs, I'm going to assume you never used it before. So I'm going to go over a lot of little different details, but at the same time, I'm not going to cover everything. I'm not going to do everything that's you know, WordPress uh, 101. So first thing, we've got our content in there. We have our title. We can either publish it, but if we hit publish, it's instantly going to be on live on the site. So what we can do is save it. Now our site's saved, and as well as we can do is we can hit preview. And we can see what it looks like at this point. So here we are. Not too bad, not too great. All right, so let's close that out. Then the next thing I want to point you to is the post type right here. Actually, let me back up real quick, real quick. On this section right here, we can actually save a draft, but also we can set the as a private post if we want to, or a password protected post. So I can do this, give it a password, and only people with a password can view it. I can also change the date. So right now WordPress works as a timestamp and the most recent to the oldest is how it works chronologically. So when you make a post the newest one will be here and then so forth and so forth. Um, however you can make a new post and you can schedule it for a future update. So if you want to schedule it to show up in a month from now or six weeks from now whatever you could do that. And conversely you can set it as an older date. So if you want to set something that's you know showing in March or April or February or whatever you can do that. All right. Next is the post type. Like I said, we have the typical three ways to show a, a, a post or a featured image, a preview image. And right now we have the, the mosaic, we have the standard image, and we have the uh, video. So what we want to do is make sure we choose which one we're, you know, which one we're aiming to do. Right now I'm going to go ahead and do a normal post. Keep it as it is. I'm going to choose my categories. Let's do that. I'll add a category um, while, I'm, while I'm here. Let's see. I guess I'll just call this Beautiful Weddings. Click Add New. There's my new category. Tags, if you want to use tags. Up to you. Completely up to you. Weddings. Let's see. Photography. All right. Add. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go down below that. We're going to see featured image. Now the featured image is the large one that's going to show up right in here with this date. Now you need to use this because this date is graphic is behind this and it's using this area. So we need to set an image. So let's go ahead, grab an image. I'm going to go go get one from my library. It's already in use. Let's see. How about this one? Oh, not big enough, my mistake. Bear with me here. Okay, use this cake. OK, 
Okay, got it. Uses featured image. We got that in place. All right. Now, next thing we want to go to is this section right here. This is related posts. So if we come and look at the post preview, we'll see this section says you may also love. Um, we've set it up so you can choose which ones will actually go in here. So this is going to be all your posts. So you're going to have this list of posts you can choose that we can add into the section. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose these random three. There we are. Go ahead and save this. Let's preview, see what we got so far. There's my image. There's my meta information. All right, and my uh, related posts. All right, so, so far so good. I'm not sure why this resetted, but uh, let's see. Beautiful weddings. Uh, all right. Okay, next, we'll come down here and we'll see this section says add picture caption. That is that little rollover box. So let me actually publish this so you can see what I'm referring to. All right. So if I don't put anything, I just get a nice little click and I can read the actual post. All right. But however, if you look at where is it? Let's see. Where are we? Right here, we got this little hover over, a little nice little hover over. So we can actually add that. So it's up to you whether you want to add that or not. But let's go ahead and do it so we can see how it's done. We'll give it a title. Give it a little bit of text. Um, don't want to overload it. I would keep it really short and brief. So now we got our text. Let's go ahead and update. Let's go check it. There you are. Now we got a nice little rollover. Now, real quick, you'll notice, or maybe you didn't notice, but I added all this text. But when I look at this blog, it's it's clipped off. All right. So how do we set to where this is? You know, uh, where we want to have the read more. How do we insert that? And that's really easy. What you want to do is find a spot where you want the read more to be inserted, and then this little icon right here, insert more tag. Click that. Now I have a read more. Now we notice that we have now have more text, and there is my read more accent because I was able to set where I wanted that to be at. All right. Now let's let's dump some pictures in this thing. I'm gonna come up here. This is really, 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 really important. You're gonna want to remember this. You're gonna want to pay attention to this. And this specific number, six thirty-five. Remember that number, six thirty-five. The six thirty-five is the exact width of this column. This column meaning the size of this picture, the width of this picture. Height doesn't matter, but width does, because if we put a picture in there that's too big, it's going to push out here. Um, and I'm going, to I'm going to go over why I'm telling you that. Remember that, 635. All right, so let's come in here. I'm going to insert some of my own random pictures in this post preview. I'm going to show you something really cool about WordPress. Let me go in. Let's just say I've uploaded an image already. All right, I want to insert this. Let me find, um, let's see what I got here. Actually, let me use, hmm, not big enough. All right, hold on. Actually, let me, let me get a new picture for this because it's something important I want to show you. Hold on. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to actually upload a new picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to size it within WordPress. So you can look right here and you can see this picture is 1732 in width. So we need 635. Clearly that's too big. So we're okay. Let's go ahead and upload this joker. All 
All right. So right under the, the thumbnail, we'll see this edit image. Click this. Now I can actually set my size. I can crop it. I can do some other cool stuff to it. We're just interested in scaling this thing right now. So click the scale. This thing's going to automatically scale for me. So I'm just going to click 635. You'll notice over here it sets the automatic ratio for it. 635, scale. Save my changes. All right. Now we want to insert this in the post. I want to use none. That's what I want to use. And I'm going to use the full size, the one I just scaled down to. Well, I did 634 by mistake, but anyways. So let's go ahead and insert this. Make sure we're alignments none. Insert. So there's our image. Let me update. At least I thought I hit update. Go ahead and refresh. And there's our image. So we can actually come in here and start dropping in images and, and fill this whole thing out and go as deep and as far as you want to. Um, the important thing is, is that you actually crop that image. If you're not able to set this to 635 before you upload, it's okay. You can upload, excuse me, you can upload this and you can actually crop it and set it within WordPress. It's a neat little feature to kind of keep that um, functionality in mind. So Remember, 635 is the size you want if you want to crop this thing in here because it's not going to auto-size it for you. Only certain things like featured image will auto-crop. And you can just start dropping in pictures. And In fact, you can you know, go a step above if you want. And Let's see here. Come over here. Use thumbnail. I'm actually going to float this right update. So now I'm floating an image and wrapping the text around it. So see, I can do that here. So I can do all that stuff in preview. And then, like I said, you can just start filling all these out if you want to, all the way down, like you're normally used to seeing on on these wedding sites. Um, I think I'm going to actually break this into two tutorials because right now we're at 12 minutes, 45 seconds. Um, I'm going to cover the video and then I'm actually going to do the collage one by itself in its entirety because it's got a lot to go over so I'll, I'll, I'll separate that. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and check out the video section. Let's go ahead and set up add new. All right, so let's do a new video. We're gonna call this uh, video tutorial. Um, whoops, go ahead and drop in a quick little line of, uh, of dummy text. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I set up and choose video. Choose a couple of my categories. I'm not gonna really worry about tags. I, of course, will not be using featured image. Let's go ahead and just publish this. All right, so now what we need to do is set up our uh, our video, and it's really easy. All we need is the link for that actual video. It accepts YouTube as well as Vimeo, and it's as simple as copying and pasting the URL. So, for instance, let me. If I go to YouTube and I find my video or I've uploaded a video, if we're using our own personal video, whatever, um, you'll see right in the address bar, you'll see this right here, this full link. And that's what we want. We want this full link right here. So if I come in here, now let me pause that. Sorry about that. Paste that right in there. Let's go ahead and update this. And if I come back to the blog now, I should have that as my first post and as my video right in, right in place there. There we go. There's the video and if you want to use Vimeo, same thing. So if you go to Vimeo, I got a Vimeo URL handy by the way. 
Same thing, you copy the, the link that's right up in here. So if I had a Vimeo, paste that right in there, update. And there we are, there would be our Vimeo video. So really, really easy on how to set that video in there. You can go ahead and put this one back in there because I like this one. All right, that's going to do it for this version of the video, uh, excuse me, of the blog tutorial. I'm going to do a part two, and then I'm going to cover just do it, working with the collage, uh, collage, the collage, and a couple other small little things I didn't touch base on yet. That way, this video is not running too long.